All right, we're gonna change the element on our stove. There's the model number. It's a combination stove and microwave. And the element is broken right there. We're wondering why stuff was taking so long to cook and that's the reason why. So only this one was coming on. Only this inner one. So I found a part on eBay, ordered it, and it got here. So we're gonna change it. Looks like we gotta take out one, two, three, four screws. So we're gonna pop those out and see what this looks like. Okay, so we got the, the screws loose. And that's what it's gonna look like. So be careful with those connectors. So if you gently pull them out, it looks like there's enough wire. Okay, and there's this heat shield um, that's holding on, oops, sorry. There's a heat shield. It's, it's around that element connector. So we're gonna disconnect those connectors and, and put the new one on. Connor, you want to get the new part? All right, so this is where we got a part from. It looks like an OEM part. And there's your part number uh, right there. Okay. And here's the oven again. Just pause it and you can get all those numbers. So anyways, here's the new element. Shiny at new. Okay, we got that out. Flip it over, Connor, and let's show them why we couldn't remove that. It's okay, spin it around so we can see the back end. No, nope, the whole thing at once. Spin the whole thing 180. Keep going, keep going. There, you can see why we couldn't get that heat shield off because it's right through the thing. So let's slide this old element out. Yeah. So Connor, inside this, it's like melted. No, look inside there. There's a wire, and then they they surround it with um. I can't remember what it's called, but it's probably like some kind of concrete or something. And then it's inside another tube, so the current goes through that little wire in the middle. See it? And it heats this all up, and that's how it turns that nice orange color. All right, so let's put the new element in right there and put it all back together. And just make sure when you're pulling those wires off, they don't go back into the oven cabinet or you, you'll be popping this whole thing off. Four screws and yeah, so about five, between five and 10 minutes so far. Yeah, four. Okay, we got it installed. Just make sure those connectors are on there and locked in. Put the uh, put this all back together. It's probably 15 to 20 minutes this took. All right, it seems to be working. Uh, we're gonna let that bake off for a bit and then the boys are gonna put some fries in. Uh, if anyone knows when that inner element's supposed to come on, let me know. I'm sure it does, but so I gotta watch the oven, but. All right, well, I figured out why that inner broiler wasn't going off it's because when I uh, put the element back in the wire popped off of it so I had to take the oven right out but in the meantime I checked the, uh, the hidden bank element nothing was toast so I had to rip all that out and replace it so but I forgot to make a video but you can find it on YouTube and we got some leftover pizza going Anyway, thanks for watching.